But let's look at another one here. No one living in Pompeii could have survived the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The reason is simple. The lava was flowing too fast and there was nowhere to go to escape it in time. Therefore, this account of the eruption, which claims to have been written by an eyewitness living in Pompeii, was not actually written by an eyewitness. What's the overall conclusion here? It's the no one living in Pompeii could have survived the corruption of Mount uh, Vesuvius, even though maybe you could say there is a word therefore. So uh, the conclusion might come after that, but it doesn't, the information given does not really um, encompasses everything that the author talks about, I think. That's a good point there. So you acknowledge, you pointed out a conclusion, the first sentence, but then you acknowledge that the word therefore kind of raises a question as to, is there more than one conclusion and which one is the true main conclusion? So there's some complexity here. This is definitely a tougher argument than the ones we've previously looked at. Anybody else want to share their thoughts on this one? That it was not actually written by an eyewitness. Nice. Nice. And Jasmine also points out in the chat, she thinks there's more than one conclusion. Yeah. So anybody else want to share thoughts as to which one it is? I think it's just one conclusion and I'll have to agree that um, was not actually written by an eyewitness. Nice. Nice. Excellent. So it is in fact that final sentence. Therefore, this account of the eruption claimed to be, to be written by an eyewitness was not actually written by an eyewitness. So conclusion, it was not written by an eyewitness. And we don't even get to the fact that there is a particular account in question here or the eyewitness till the final sentence. So this, this particular paragraph as a whole is, there's a larger context that we're not being given here. So this would actually be an example that's maybe better for reading comp than for logical reasoning, but I threw it in anyway because it's a complex argument. We've got um, primary evidence, sub-conclusion, then main conclusion, main conclusion being the final sentence. So they're under no obligation to give us things in any particular order. This is, again, sub-conclusion first, then evidence, then main conclusion. No one living could have survived because the lava was flowing too fast. You couldn't escape it in time. So for that reason, overall, this account of the eruption, which is claimed to be by an eyewitness, could not possibly have been written by one because they probably would not have survived the eruption if they'd been around to see it. We've got Jasmine sharing here in the chat, no one in living in Pompeii could, could survive, therefore claims were not written by an eyewitness. Perfect, exactly. So second sentence, then first sentence, then final sentence is the order I would go for evidence, sub-conclusion, main conclusion. Each part subsequently supports the following parts. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.